I was going to review the first Coming to America, but it's my second time seeing it. Uh, I saw it first in high school. I, I watched it yesterday to get prepared for this movie, Coming to America. And I gotta say, I liked it better the second time, but I don't believe it's a great film. I believe it's just a good film. Let's get into Coming to America. The African monarch, Akeem, again play, played by Eddie Murphy, masterfully by Eddie Murphy, learns he has a long-lost son in the United States and must return to America to meet this unexpected heir and build a relationship with his son because, uh, because in, uh, Zamunda, Zamunda, under royal law, only a, a, a male can rule. We know where, where this is going. Akeem has three daughters and we get Leslie Jones in this movie. She, she, she's pretty funny. I liked her a lot. Uh, James Earl Jones is only in it for about 10 minutes. He's in it for 10 minutes. And I can't really blame him because, yeah, he's on screen. He's, what, 89? Is, is, is he 89? That's math. Okay. Uh, he is 90. He just turned 90 January 17th. Great. So we meet Akeem's son uh, named, um, named Lavelle. We do get more, more Morgan Freeman here. I want to add in Morgan Freeman because it's Morgan Freeman. Probably one of, of the greatest voices of all time. It is a tie between Morgan Freeman and James Earl Jones. I mean, come on. Baseball was life. <laughs> Uh, coming to America. I like this film a little better. I like this film more than the original. I know that's a very unpopular opinion. I know... I know this is going to be a very controversial opinion. I know this is getting some mixed reviews. It has a 51% the last time that I looked on rot, rot, Rotten Tomatoes. I don't think it's that bad. I thought this had some very funny moments, but it also had some very PG-13 moments particularly with sex jokes and nude jokes they do call back to multiple things and and i like that now let's get into why, why i think this movie is just good i think some of the jokes did fall flat but i i laughed more in this movie than than i did in the first one uh, we do go back to the, uh, to, to, to the woman barking and acting like a dog and hopping on one, one, one leg. I thought that was kind of funny, but she, she's been doing that for all these years, for 30 years she's been doing that. Are you kidding me? We go back to McDowell's, a pretty funny callback because everything is pretty much a, McDonald's ripoff. My main problem with this movie is it's very predictable. It's a predictable move. It, it it's a predictable movie. You know exactly what's going to happen, particularly now, in 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 today's age. I don't got a problem with what happens in the movie. I just thought it it, it was very very predictable, and thus this is going to be a shorter review than what I was planning on. The cinematography was beautiful. I like that it takes place in Zamunda a lot more now because we didn't get a lot of it in, in, in the first one. The first one was a lot of New York. And I believe that that, that was warranted because he's looking for, for the love of, of, of his life in New York City. This one, we know what's going to happen. We see the, the woman... Uh, of the love interest in this movie, and we know exactly what 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 what's gonna happen, and how it's gonna happen. I thought it was really well done. Eddie Murphy can still do comedy. I really enjoy him as as a comedic actor, 
I haven't seen a lot of his dramatic work, and I haven't seen a lot of his work in general. I mean, I, I've seen Shrek pr pr probably 30, 40 times. Uh... Uh, the Haunted Mansion, I've, I've seen, I've seen, uh, a couple other ones, but I have not seen, like, the Beverly Hill, the Beverly Hills Cops movies. I haven't seen 48 Hours, another 48 Hours, uh, I've, I have seen Norbit, and I've seen the two Nutty Professor movies, and I believe that the first one is pretty funny, the, the second, uh, the, yeah, 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 yeah. The second one is just okay. I need to check out some more of, of, of his work, and I will in the very near future. We do have Arsenio Hall back. Good comedic side character here. Tracy Morgan, Leslie Jones, a very enjoyable cast. I can see why people don't like the movie, but I found it very, very enjoyable. And I'm going to give Coming to America a B-. minus. I thought it, it was very enjoyable, and if if you didn't really care for it, then that that's a shame. But I, I wish you would have, and I will see all of you guys for my next review, which is going to be for Boss Level.